everyone, it's Donna Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a very, very gloomy day. In fact, let me show you how gloomy it is. Today, Jim rode his motorcycle to work. Can you believe he rode it? And it was doing this when he left. It was raining. And it's pretty wet and ishy out. But, because there's his Jeep, it's over there. If he would have taken the Jeep, then I would have known. But he took the motorcycle. And it's wet. We have a little puddle there. Can you see the rain? Can you hear the rain? It's not very pretty. I was watching some videos and they were saying it was perfect weather. Oh, for a dock, it is a perfect weather for us. But even my chickens don't like this weather. They stay in pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Well, did you enjoy seeing how gloomy our day is? It's not gloomy in here. He just <laughs> Jim just raised his eyebrows at me and it made me laugh. He still does silly things. And also I want to show you how I open a jar when he's not around. Although he was around, I could have asked him, but I wanted to show you how I do it. So let's go to that. Whenever you get a jar that you can't open, which I can't open, as you can see, I'm pretty, pretty weak. I take this little tool. It's a bottle opener. This side would open your beer. This side would open a can of milk can. or something. We used to call them church keys. I don't know what they call them, but I slide it. I find a spot where I can slide underneath the cap and I just re I push just a little bit, not a lot. You don't want to break it because you don't want that thing poking you. And you'll hear it pop when I get to it. And the reason I put the cloth between is so that it won't... Um, there it goes, mm -hmm. so that it won't break your glass. And then you just open it, and voila, just like that. Because I used to, you know, you can run them under the faucet. I used to bang it and think, oh, good grief, I'm never going to get dinner made because I can't open the jar. Well, now I can open the jar, and it's so easy. Two fingers. Well, do you ever have trouble opening a jar? They say run it under hot water, bang it on the counter, or bang it with a wooden spoon or something, and it will help it open. I'll, I have tried all those, and they don't work a lot of times, but the way I do it, it really works. And I never have a problem, but just be very careful you don't pull up too hard on that opener to break the tin, because you don't want it to be rough. It'll hurt your hands. And you can and you use, don't want to break the jar either. No, you don't want to break the jar. That's why I put the, the either the pot holder or a washcloth or something in between just to just to lever against so when you're when you're levering you got some, a cushion there. I watched a lot of videos today and um, I'm trying to think what I watched. I watched so much I don't even remember what I watched. And I thought I was getting the kids today, but they didn't come, so I turned the heat back off up here. And it's chilly. It's cold. It's not a very warm day. And so for those of you that were, sit were working outside and said it's a beautiful day, well, that's why I said in mine, yeah, for ducks. <laughs> because it's really not. And then there was others that I had watched, and their weather wasn't as nice either. But... We and they we I watched a live today. I did watch a live today, and that was from that was Lori Fluffy No Mo and Vicky, um, Vicky Marie something life. Um, oh gosh, oh, sorry, Vicky, I don't know your channel name. Oh, I'm stumped, I'm always stumped, and you know, it's so hard to remember the names because I, I don't think of them as their channel names anymore. I just should think of them as their names. And when I see their little circle or their little icon that represents them, I know who I'm talking to. And I don't need to know the channel name, except for when I'm looking for it. 
and if I if they post often I see it I also watched some videos that were talking about how to grow your channel and I watched those because you know I'm always interested in what they have to say but they always just skirt around just like just like a politician <laughs> you ask them a question they will go all the way around that question but they'll never really answer it and that's the same thing that a lot of the people that do the videos do they just skirt around they say they're going to tell you a whole bunch of stuff and they tell you absolutely nothing so that's what i watched today i guess i'm done mm -hmm. i picked up poop of course because mr brown always poops and he's learned I've, I've actually got him tipping tapping on a bowl i put a bowl there and it's got a ting, tinny sound I will have to show that sometime. It took him four tries to do it. He was tapping the wooden, tapping the wooden, tapping the wooden, thinking, why aren't you giving me any treat? Then I would tap the little bowl, and so now he taps the bowl. He knows that's what he has to do. So that's my video for today. I hope you all had a great day and had sunshine where you were because we had rain and gloom. But maybe tomorrow, is tomorrow supposed to be sunny? Uh, not too no. awful sunny. We're, I think we're, we're, I think we're in we're the yucky weather. It's rain. it's grape season time, so everything's wet. It always is wet during grape season, it seems like. They're picking grapes, in other words. Um, so that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.